Hey everybody, it's Dar <clears throat> Hey everybody, it's Darcy. Hope you're doing well. So today and for the next couple of videos actually, I'm going to be doing some animals. I just I personally need to work a little bit on the um the hair and feathers in the case of uh, birds and actually scales on fish. Um just always trying to do better and I think those are some pretty weak areas I have. So today we're doing a horse and I uh, hope you have a good day. Let's get going. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe and wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, this is my dog, one of them. As I was talking, she was scratching for some attention. Anyway, have a good day. We'll talk to you later. Bye. So how's everyone today? This was, uh, I'm doing a couple videos in a row where I'm just going to focus on um, animals just so I can get a bit better at it, um, learning about shadows and how it affects it. And one of my, always one of my issues has been is uh, trying to get fur and hair um, with watercolor. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on the next couple videos to try and get, get a little bit better at it. Had a huge palette with this. Um, Obviously the browns were the dominant ones, but in the shadows there's a lot of um, purples and blues that were popping out, so I was utilizing them as well. Um, here's a question for you though. Have, how many people have actually been on a horse during some point in their life? I, it, it sounds like a dumb question, but at the same time, um, I'm 50 something, how old am I? 51, and I've actually never been on a horse ever in my life. I've stood beside one two, maybe three times. But I guess it all depends on where and how you grow up because I always grew up in a city. It was a small city and I'm still in a smaller city right now, but um, didn't have a lot of access to horses other than uh, to see them obviously on TV and in movies. Um, and I can drive by them all the time and see them in the countryside, but to literally actually get on one, I've uh, <laughs> never done it before. The one thing I do know is if you've never been beside a horse, they're absolutely friggin' huge animals, um, and they're beautiful animals. Um, the one thing I noticed while doing this uh, watercolor is, uh, horses have hair, obviously, and I think everybody knows that, but they're not a fat-based animal. They're extremely lean and muscular, so, one of the issues in dealing with this, and maybe it's not an issue, it's just trying to uh, hone my skills, I guess, is you had to really watch from reference photos, muscles and tendons. And um, for this guy here, um, the rib cage. And you might think, well, why the rib cage? But it's like what, looking at the side of a car, where the side of a car the door panels and the glass makes up a huge part of it. Well, when you're looking at the side of a horse like this, it's uh, it's whole rib cage, stomach, um, back legs, and front uh, front legs as well, as long as with the neck even. There's just a lot of proportions that not only have to get right, but you also have to make sure that the uh, the muscles show up where they're supposed to, the shadows hit where they're supposed to. Um, this one from the reference photo here, I really had to concentrate on the rib cages, not only where the ribs were, um, but where it stopped leading down to the, um, the stomach below. But it was fun, it was a good learning experience. Um, I always thought prior to this, not now, I always thought prior to this I could paint a horse or at least draw a half decent horse. But once I got into the anatomy of this character, um, I realized I was uh, putting my skills to the test. Let's just let it, put it that way. But I do um, use a reference photo. And also you can see here, this part here I'm working on right now, the, uh, the horse's mane was flipped on the other side of the neck because typically horses have, you know, the huge manes going on. And um, I didn't realize it until after I picked out the reference photo, but I'm glad it wasn't there because, again, I... Working with hair is uh, and fur is always a bit of a challenge for me. So anyway, other than that, um, this is just towards the end here. 
it was uh, I was I was okay happy with this I suppose um, let me know in the comments if you've ever been on a horse before just strictly out of curiosity um, so again some people grow up with them and they're around them their whole lives and, and there's guys like me who just know what they are and drive by them occasionally in the countryside and anyway other than that hope you have a great day if you like this sort of video please like and subscribe I do appreciate the support I'm getting recently it's all going very well I think at the time I am posting this I'm at 663 subscribers so and I get a lot of good feedback which is uh, constructive feedback which I always like too so anyway have a great day if you can get on a horse uh, try and get on a horse and let me know what it was like I'm too short I think I could probably walk under this thing so anyway take care have a good day